Hi everyone. If you've been trying to figure out how to blur out an object or someone's face in your video like the one I'm showing you right now, then you've come to the right place, because I'm going to show you how to do just that. Alright, so here I've got the original video added to the main track. The first step here is to add a blur effect above this main track. To do that, click the Effects tab on the Library panel, and then search for Blur. As you can see here, there are many different blur effects available, but for our purpose, we'll just use this simple blur effect. Set the effect's duration according to the duration of the object or face to hide. For this example, I'll set the effect's duration to the length of the video. You may also adjust the blur level to your preference. The next step is to duplicate the video on the main track and place its duplicate above the blur effect. To do that, press and hold the alternate key on the keyboard and then click and drag the video like this. It's very important to take note here that the duplicate clip has to be perfectly aligned with the original clip on the main track. If your blur effect is only over a fraction of the video's length, you can trim off the duplicate to match the blur effect. Alright, the next step is to apply a video mask to this duplicate clip. To do that, first make sure the duplicate clip is being selected, and then go to the Properties panel, click Video, and then click Mask. Select the appropriate mask based on the shape of the object to hide, or based on your artistic preference. For this example, since we're hiding a person's face, we're gonna apply a circle mask. Then click the reverse button located at the top right corner of the mask panel to get the desired masking effect. Now place the playhead at the start of the video, and then resize and position the mask according to the size and position of the face to hide. Alright, we're almost done. Now the last step is to make the mask follow the face on the screen throughout the video. As you can see here, if I drag the playhead to the right, the mask will be going out of position due to the camera movement. To fix this problem, we are going to add keyframes to the position and size properties of the mask. The key principle here is pretty simple. Whenever the face start going off the mask, we'll add that frame to the mask's position or size property as the start keyframe. And then when the face movement stops or changes direction or speed, we'll add that frame as the end keyframe. At the end keyframe, we'll adjust the position or size of the mask accordingly. To make this principle clearer, let me add the first frame of the video to the position property of the mask. Then I'll move the playhead to the 1 second and 6 frames mark, and then reposition the mask accordingly. This will also automatically add the current frame to the mask's position property as the end keyframe. And now if I drag the playhead like this, you will see that the mask now follows the face on the screen. But then if I drag the playhead farther to the right, the face becomes bigger than and slightly off the mask. So now I'll place the playhead at the end keyframe of the previous segment, and then add that frame to the size property of the mask. After that I'll move the playhead to the 2 seconds and 11 frames mark, and then resize and reposition the mask accordingly. Now as you can see here, not only will the mask follow the face, but also resize itself accordingly. Alright, so you can repeat these steps until the end of the video to make sure that the mask always follows the face to hide. Alright, so that's how basically you blur out an object or face in CapCut for PC. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.